Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today, I'm bringing you an inventory trailer that recently arrived. It is a 2024 Cimarron North Star, two horse bumper pull. The neat thing about this one, it is extra tall. So those bigger bodied horses, taller horses, your mules even with the bigger, longer ears, it's gonna be a very nice trailer for them to hop into. So we'll go ahead and start right up here on the front. We've got our manual crank jack, two and five sixteenths inch hitch, safety chains, battery breakaway cable. And then right now you'll see we have it plugged into our battery pack. And that's to show you how the lights operate on it. So in order to have the lights operating on this trailer, you gotta be plugged into your tow vehicle, or we can get an external battery source installed in that front tack room for you so you could operate the lights without being plugged into a truck. So exterior color on this one is going to be white. And then right up here on the tack room, you've got a 42 inch wide tack door. So those 42 inch wide tack doors for one makes your tack room just a little bit bigger. And then for two allows you a little bit more space having this saddle rack swung out and then being able to easily get in and out of the trailer with that still swung out. So I didn't have to turn sideways or anything. I'm pretty broad shouldered and I can still walk through with ease. And then on this saddle rack, we've got the two tiers, two saddle tiers. And Cimarron, they make these saddle tiers themselves. They are carpeted. And then you got this wither block right here. So having this wither block, I'm telling you, I have a Cimarron that has these same saddle tiers. I have yet to have a saddle fall off. So having saddles fall off, that's the worst part about getting somewhere and you're like, well, saddles are on the floor again. Leather's getting messed up and everything. So having this weather block and just the capabilities of these to hold those saddles on a little bit better just comes in handy big time. And then we've got two blanket poles and you'll notice right here, everything on here is adjustable, removable. We could add additional. So all you got to do is back these out a little bit if you want to move them up and down or if you want to take them off completely, back them out all the way and they'll pop off here for you. So this is on a gas shock. So it sits back in. There's no latches or pins that you need to put in in order to get it in that stationary position. You just push it back in and it's gonna be tight right there. Over on this tack door, we do have the window up above so we can get that opened up, get some airflow coming through. If you've got some sweaty blanket smells and stuff and you wanna get that aired out, you can do so. And then down below here, we do have our brush box. So having that brush box comes in handy big time. You don't want stuff rolling around on the floor in your tack room. So put everything that you use, or at least me personally, everything I use pretty often, I'll put in this brush box, you know, your brushes, hook picks, fly spray, liniment, polo wraps, all that stuff, I'll keep in here and that way it's easily accessible for me. So hopping up into this tack room, you'll notice a step as well on the bottom. So that's gonna give you about six inches lower compared to just having your side rail right there and just makes life a whole lot easier. And then when that door is shut and you do have that step folded up, if you don't get that door latch just properly and it does happen to come open a little bit, 98% of the time the step is gonna prevent that door from opening and flying open while you're in transit too. So up here in the tack room, on our partition wall, we do have our carpeted partition wall with the bridle hooks up above. So having that carpet is just gonna help keep your bridles in better condition and then help keep your trailer in good condition too, because your bridles will do that swishing and swaying back and forth as you're in transit going down the road. And then right above me here, you'll notice a little uh, bar. So if you want to get some show clothes hung up, you wanna get your polo wraps hung somewhere, you can do so with these having that right up there. Down below here, we have our full-size spare tire. It's located in this front tack room. And then over on this right-hand side, you'll notice a 25-gallon water tank. So having that 25-gallon water tank gives you the option to bring some water from home. I know there's some finicky horses out there that don't like to drink new water. So being able to bring some from home and mix it in with the, with the newer water just keeps them drinking and we wanna keep them hydrated and feeling good and everything. And then above this water tank right here, you do have a light switch for your LED light on this um, interior. So you're able to see a little bit better in here when you're trying to maneuver, it's a little bit darker out and stuff. 
So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our two bus windows. So these open up 50-50. Um, everything, well, the way I do it before I go on any trip with my horses, even if it's chilly outside, I'll make sure that these are unlocked from the inside. And that way, as it starts to warm up and the temperature gets warmer throughout the day and I need to get some more airflow going through the trailer, all I gotta do is come to the outside and push these open. So instead of having to offload horses or get behind your horses to get them open, just unlatch them beforehand and you'll be able to move that back and forth and pick and choose how much airflow you want. You have an LED light up above and then down below you got two uh, ties. And then on this one, we've got two 3,500 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 15 inch aluminum wheel. And this aluminum wheel, I really like the look of this. Uh, that's just my personal preference, having that silver and black put together. Um, just looks really sleek and really nice. And then this little green tab that they have on these tires, that's gonna be your air fill spot. And that little green tab indicates that those are nitrogen filled tires. So your nitrogen filled tires, they're not gonna fluctuate PSI as much, and they're gonna stay a little bit steadier, and then they're gonna run cooler as well. And then if you do come to an instance where you need to you know, refill, but you can't find nitrogen nearby, you can fill with normal air and it's not gonna do anything to the trailer or the tires. So Cimarron trailers, they are an all aluminum trailer. You've got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the four inch center. And then you've got a insulated roof comes standard on all trailers. So that's a half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof, has an R3 thermal value on it. So a little bit more heat regulating, warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So here on the rear, we've got our 6040 door opening. We have an LED light up above on that right hand door right there you'll see a window so you can get that opened up and just get that airflow blowing through the trailer and sucking that air back out and just keep that airflow going for your horses so right away i'll show you underneath this mat right here you just rinsed it out for me so it's a little bit wet right now but you'll see the solid aluminum floor so having that solid aluminum floor wherever you spray out is where liquid is going to come out and so we always recommend customers when they first buy your uh, Cimarron trailer or a trailer with an aluminum floor, go to Sam's Club, Costco, King Supers, you know, your local marketplace and uh, get a big bag of baking soda, flip those mats back like I just did, sprinkle that baking soda down, flip the mat back over. And what that's gonna do is any kind of urine that's gonna get down underneath those mats is gonna absorb into that baking soda and then it counteracts the acidity that's in the urine because if that urine is sitting on that aluminum floor it will start to eat away at it eventually and leave you a little pinholes in your flooring and that's what you don't want to want to happen so baking soda helps counteract that acidity in the urine but hopping up here into our stall area we've got our one divider so this opens up and goes over to the side and stays in the trailer. So I don't know if you see that right here. We add a little bit more length to the back of our trailers to make sure that these dividers stay in the trailer. We don't want something sticking out for a horse to catch a hip on or anything. So be able to get this over to the side and out of the way, load your for first horse in and then get it closed. On both sides of this divider, you do have pads. So pads for one, they're gonna help with the uh, comfort of the horse when they're leaning against that divider. And then for two, they're gonna help with the discoloration that sometimes happens while in transit with the horses. They'll get to rubbing against this aluminum and get that you know, stained look a little bit. So having that just helps out with that big time. And then one thing I point out pretty often on Cimarron's, but that's cause I love this feature so much, is gonna be their latches for their dividers. So it's super simple to use. All I did right there was just push against it with my hip and it latched into place. So when you've got young horses and you're trying to get them comfortable with loading and you know they're still wiggling around, they wanna try and back out or something, you can easily just you know click them over and push that into place and then they're locked in there. So having that feature just comes in handy big time when, you're, when you're, you've got a horse that's young and still learning. And then back here, you do have a butt strap that comes across 
And I always make sure that I do up my butt strap. And that way this last horse, especially if you tie it, some horses, as soon as you open this back door, they're gonna wanna back out. And so having this strap here is gonna help prevent them from backing out completely. You know, most horses will hit this and then push themselves back forward away from that pressure. And then for two, if for some reason, you know, something happens and a door opens while you're in transit, it's gonna hopefully help that horse from being able to come out of the trailer and keep it into the trailer there. So then up on that right hand side, you do have an LED light. So it makes loading and unloading in the dark a heck of a lot easier. And then up on the roof there, you've got roof vents. So those roof vents push forward and they push back. You push them forward, that'll help draw that air in, push it back, help draw that air back out, and just keep that overall airflow going over the heads and backs of the horses. So these doors, they are on a latchback system, so, or a holdback system, whatever you wanna call it. So this comes around and locks into place right here. I'll show you how this works. So this locks into place right there, and that's gonna help prevent that door from blowing shut while you're trying to load horses. Nothing's worse than having a door trying to blow shut on you, horses spooking, wind's blowing, animals irritated, you're irritated, it's just not a good combination. So having that capability of doing so helps out big time. And then right behind this door, you do have your light switches. So that's gonna operate, top left is gonna be this left-hand side, top right's gonna be that right-hand side, and then let's see here. This one bottom left is going to be this exterior light on the back. And then the bottom right is gonna be the interior stall area. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got two big drop down windows. These drop downs, they do have a bus window in them. So if you wanted to just get that open and just have a little bit of airflow for those horses, you could do so or you could drop it down like I just had it. Those pop into place so they're not gonna be slapping against the trailer while you're driving down the road. And then the jail bars come down as well. So having those jail bars come down, check on horses, offer more feed, offer some water if you're going on the longer hauls and stuff, and just be able to you know, use the trailer and utilize it to its full potential, being able to drop these down with ease and put them back up with ease. Up above you have that other LED light. And then this trailer here, we're gonna be sitting at seven feet, seven inches tall, so extra tall here. Seven feet, one inches is standard height. So this is an additional six inches tall compared to just standard height Cimarron's. We got six feet, 10 inches wide. And then we have an on the floor length of 15 feet, six inches. Empty weight on this one is 2,700 pounds. So, you know, we always say double check your tow rating. You always wanna make sure that your vehicle is capable of towing a trailer this heavy, but this is pretty light for a two horse trailer and extra tall too. So always double check your tow ratings, but bigger SUVs, smaller pickups, you know, you're gonna most likely be fine towing it around. So stock number we've got on this one's gonna be 5N230. 782, and that's 5N230782. It's a 2024 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull. This trailer will come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on these trailers too. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot, on our website, you're looking to build something, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call or text my cell phone at 970 218 5996. Call my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. If you click the link below, that'll take you to this trailer on our webpage and then you can browse our new and used inventory there as well. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.